beautiful afternoon here at the lofts um so just going to uh show you uh one of our new arrivals that we've got at the lofts um a little mealy so excited to show you that um also i just wanted to show you uh the um little chick that i showed you the other day about the angel wing that i got just obviously show you that just so you can see how it's coming along um and we've uh, made a new landing pad for the cockbirds uh, over there so uh can't wait to get that used on their first truck so that'll be soon because we're gonna get them in the basket get them down the road start getting them trained and i'll show you that one as well so uh let's get up right so just going in here and uh it was little angel wing baby over here. Come on, sweetheart. Good baby. I know, I know. That's it. So there it is. And it's all sitting nice and flush to its body. I want to say a really big thank you to everybody who um, obviously had, had commented on the video and given me advice and just saying so you know that it'll be fine, it will grow out, um, it'll, it'll fix itself. I know, I know. I know. I know, little one. And it seems to be doing fantastic. Like I say, it's all nice and flush to the body now. So uh, really pleased with that. Come on, then, little one. Go let go. That's it. Oh, is your mummy laid two eggs now? Oh, no, still just the one. Go on, then, Daddy. Sit back on it. Um, just point out those two at the bottom there. Uh, they are the two that I did the video on about the late ringing. Um, like I say, I did, men did man mention I managed to get the um, ring onto the other one with a lot of washing liquid and patience and everything else. Um, this section here, we are currently in the process of converting it into a second uh, young bird section. Um, just because the one that we've got over there isn't going to be big enough to house all 46 birds I think I worked it out at. Um, so there's going to be obviously 23 over there. And 23 over here which is fine because we're in two clubs so it makes it easy for obviously clocking them in so that's all right um i'll just show you this um this is the new landing pad for the cock birds um i've made a little t-bar here that sits underneath it stops it from bouncing bit of two by two here bit of two by two this side and it just creates a nice snug fit across the front of this aviary here so when the boys come in, they can come in and land over here and go in instead of having to just try and get their entry right to go straight into the aviary because that's how they that's how they trap in. Um, I'm just going to show you because uh, I've got a hen in here. Looks like I might be down a hen for the race season, which is awesome, I suppose. Uh, this hen here, um, she's actually got two uh, feathers missing from her tail. Uh, so I'll just show you that. Come here, Red. Right, so here she is. This is our Red. Uh, nothing to do with the colour, obviously, just because she's got a red solenoid on. And she's from Neil Gibson in Liverpool. So red, Liverpool colours, obviously. Come here, darling. So this is our Red. Um, I'll just show you here in her tail. She has uh, two tail feathers missing which is a shame because she's um a little nimble pocket rocket this one i'll just show you this side of her um so uh it'd be nice to see what, what come out of this season but uh we'll see we'll see how things go um so uh let me just go on over here and just slide that shot just before we go in actually to see the uh, new arrival I do need to say a really really big thank you um, to Terry who um, very very kindly and very gratefully I am um, he gifted us um, a T3 Junior printer which I'm so grateful for big help uh, since what I'm, I'd re I was really looking for actually and I put a post out asking if anybody had got one and uh, Terry had obviously got in touch and said that he got one and that uh, we could have it. So I'm really, really grateful to him for that. Um, but along with that, he also sent, um, again, didn't charge me for it. Uh, he also sent me a T3 Junior bag for my clock for this season. 
So, uh, the only handbag accessory that I own. Um, so, really thankful for that. Um, which is fine. I don't need other handbags. I only carry a pigeon clock. <laughs> Um, I also want to say thank you to um, Pigeon Radio Australia uh, as they have just asked if I would be the UK correspondent for them um, and it's such a great honour to take it on, thank you very much. Um, so if everyone wants to check out Pigeon Media Radio Australia, please head to their Facebook page, the link's on there for that. Um, or contact uh, Ivan Fonte or Charlie Gretsch, so I'll give you the, the, contact, the details for going on and uh, checking it out. Um, so thank you very much again to them. Uh, so now let's go look at this little young bed. So I'm just going to go in here. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's see. Oh, here is an Avery. Here, you little baby. So this is our little arrival. A little mealy. Can't really see it very well because of the sun. But there it is. I'll just uh, pick it up and show it you properly. Oh, one. Oh, right, so, there we are. Just grab you. That's it. So, this is his little uh, mealy that we've got. Pick this up the other day. Um, so, dee -dee -dee. that way, sweetheart. It's better, isn't it, if we did that way? Um, and obviously, like we did on one of the older videos. If you look on the wing there, look, it's got a black splash and it's got quite a few on its tail. Good darling, I know. It's got quite a few on its tail. Um, so uh, it's looking like it's going to be a cot bed. So another one to add to the team, which is uh, which is brilliant, which I want. <clears throat> Need another little cot bed, don't we? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, obviously, you know, um, I'm going to, as the next video, I'm going to show you, obviously, our first chuck. Uh, so, fingers crossed for getting his birds back all at the same time. It'd be nice. Um, and I'll obviously show you a bit more as to when I've done the young bed section over there. Uh, we've got all the stock birds over there that are on, that have got chicks but are on eggs. So, obviously, once those chicks are able to come away, the eggs will be moved as well. And then they'll all be split. Because, uh Obviously, can't have any more. I've just got no space. Um, so uh, we'll see. We're obviously getting all prepped and ready for uh, the start of the race season, which, you know, fingers crossed it's going to be obviously 17th of April for us. Um, but with how things are with uh, the avian flu and things like that, we're not sure. So we'll see. But better to be prepared for just in case. Um, we'll see on how the hen goes. As to whether or not that she can uh, she can race with two tail feathers missing. Again, not something I've dealt with, so I wouldn't know. Uh, so I'd probably have to just inquire. So if anyone's got any suggestions about whether or not she can race, be a real big help. Um, so, you, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.